The managing director of Port Harcourt Refinery Company, Ahmed Diko, has assured that old Port Harcourt Refinery will be fully operational in March 2023, barring any encumbrances. Diko made the submission at an investigative hearing on the state of the nation's refineries by the House of Representatives Adoki Committee on the state of the nation's refineries. Emmanuel Ehijene completes the report. The investigation is a continuation of a series of ongoing probes into why the nation's four refineries, namely Port Harcourt, which has two, Wari and the Kaduna refineries, are still inactive despite huge sums approved by government to rehabilitate them. Chairman of the committee, Honorable Ganyu, stressed this point while welcoming the NNPC management. Members were not pleased with the pace of work despite government releasing funds for the rehabilitation work. They were interested to know when the Port Harcourt refinery will start operations since work on it has fully commenced. Even if Kaduna refinery is working, you cannot send crude to Kaduna refinery because of uh, vandalization or whatsoever. So, so pipeline water. So why spending 1 million euro on Kaduna refinery when you know that you cannot send crude? To that refinery. We are period to deliver the rehabilitation is 32 months. Even if I had you correctly, sir. How long does it take to deliver a brand new refinery of equivalent capacity? How long does it take, sir? Meanwhile, Deco assured that work will soon commence on the Worry and Kaduna refineries as soon as the pipeline issues are sorted out, since the Federal Executive Council already approved funds for the takeoff of work on both refineries. Where we can finish the old refinery and begin to run it with 60,000 barrels capacity, while other works are con 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 concurrently going on on the new refinery, which is the big one with 150,000 barrels capacity. But there are very common facilities all that has to be utilized. Utilities, wastewater, off-sites, and other things. The committee adjourned to the 9th of June for further inquest as the NNPC was asked to produce documents to back up its claims. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.